two goals late at night to try to steal the grandma's paper for the final. Scene 1, UMTI, Lundu. It's late at night, about 10 p.m. Two shadows slowly pass underneath a street lamp, and there are two goals. The one in the front, in Asia. The other is Aza. They then sneak back into the shadows. The two of them start off again into the night. They slowly sneak towards the building. Okay, there it is. No, do you have the keys? No, I'm just going to say open sesame. Of course I have the keys. You know I'm the best pickpocket around. Aza was halfway around the corner to head towards the building when a hand reaches out to grab Aza's shoulder. Aza jerks back and looks up angrily. Icha, what are you doing? Look, there's a guard nearby. If it catches us, we are doomed. Thanks. That was a close one. Don't mention Aza. Seriously, don't mention it. So, what do we do now? We either can cause a distraction or we watch his pattern and when he is not looking, slowly get closer to Madam Ingina's class. I say we watch his pattern first. But I think it would be easier to cause a distraction. Then one of us can run in and grab the test answers. Yeah, but if cause a distraction, one of us have to do it. And that's usually me. Yeah, because you are faster than me. What's that have to do with anything? It means that you can move out of the way before he sees you. Fine. Wait a second. I know a better way. Aza moves away from the corner of the building and steps onto the grass. What are you doing? This. We can use this. You are going to hit the guard with a rock? Are you obvious more money? No, stupid. We, I can throw this and make a noise and while he's often distracted we rush in got it those are actually not a bad idea it might work how did you think of that well i see it in movies all the time babe those are movies this is real life i, I don't think the guard is as dumb as you aza then begins to stare off in space not realizing what she's doing she suddenly drops the rock the rock clatters slowly on the concrete and the guard looks up suddenly aware of the noise. He then begins to head around the back of the building to investigate. Who locked that? Aza and Ija panic. They run to the far side of the building by the street. Scene 2 in Madame Indrina's room. Aza locks the door. The two girls slump against the door, breathing a sigh of relief. That was close. As if I don't know that. Okay, how about this? We still don't have the answers yet. So, if I were a book full of answers, where would I be? I couldn't tell you that. Go check her belongings. Aza begins to rifle through Madame Indiana's personal belongings. Where do you think it would be? Somewhere around here, I think. This is where she kept all her belongings. What makes you say that? <sighs> we have looked everywhere and still couldn't find that stupid folder. Yeah, oh, please God. Because if we couldn't find the folder, it's confirmed that we will fail in our final. Then, my mother will start nagging at me, and it really breaks my heart. Stop it, Morin. You sounded like your own mother. By the way, hey, that's it! Yeah, Asa, you are a genius! Hey, Ija, I am a genius. So what, huh? I remember now. After the drama, Madam Indrinas is going about my heart. Asa, look at behind that poster. Asa steps over it and reaches behind the poster and groping for anything out of the ordinary. Asa's face brightens. She pulls out a green folder and her hands were shaking uncontrollably with excitement. Give it to me, you idiot. Okay, okay. 
Ija opens the folder and begins to copy the answers. Number 13 was my name had have gone um, maybe the ones. Okay, got it. They then peek out the window and notice that the guy is gone. Aza and Ija walk to the door, open it, and walk outside. As they walk outside, they didn't notice the dark figure behind them. Well, 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 what do we have here? Two mischievous sneaking around campus late at night and trying to steal the test answer? That's a big mistake on your part, girls. Come on off, we go to the lecturer's office. You girls chose a bad decision. And you must be punished. That's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put a sock in it. What was that? Uh, nothing. Look who's it. <laughs> you think I'll fall for that? There's no way I'll fall for that old trick. It's not a trick. Look! Hey! You! What? Hey! Get back here, you girls! A boy was standing next to a building with a can of spray paint in his hand vandalizing the wall. Now free, Aza runs off into the night. Now, the guard had to chase after two girls. Ija runs around the corner and Aza shoots out in front of her. They sprint towards a nearby fence and leap. They then take off into the night. The guard screams in the distance as bushes swallow them out.